All right, well, it is time. We've got the skid steer here. They're gonna move dirt around. They're gonna cover up our pipe. And now we can start on our outer fencing as soon as they get this done. It's be a fun day. Two years ago, we started working on our aviary, a place for our exotic birds. We built a deck with a coop on top wow, of it. Wow, look at We installed it. power poles to hang the netting over, and we dug out a pond for our mandarin ducks. This year, we finally received our shipment of supplies to complete the aviary waiting over a year for it to arrive. Last month, we started on the excavation, digging a trench around the outside and digging out the pond. Now we're ready to close up the drain pipe for the pond and start installing the outer fencing. Here we go. I gotta move this out of here because we're gonna, we're gonna put some dirt up all around here. We've toyed around with ideas on what to do here. Oh gosh, I gotta get all this wood out of here. So they're gonna put dirt up underneath here That'll keep our birds and different things from getting up under this house. So that's one thing we're gonna do with the dirt. And I think the rest will use, be used to cover up that ditch and then uh, we'll move some outside of here. But this will get us cleared out of all this dirt that's piled up over here. Go to the side of the pipe. There you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. The guys were very helpful in reminding me to put a good amount of dirt underneath the pipe so it wouldn't break from the weight of the dirt going on top of it. Good, good, good. Oh, that's great. After we got the pipe covered up, they moved some dirt around the coop and smashed it down to smooth it out. Finally, they took the rest of the dirt around the pond and moved it out of the aviary to clean it up. A few weeks later, we got back out to start on the fencing. The only problem was finding out how heavy it was. So we're ready to start working on the next phase of the aviary project. And oh my gosh! At this point, we've gotten our little foot deep of a circle put around it for the outer fencing. We've gotten our pond dug out. We've gotten our little trench for a, a washout pipe for the pond and now we're at a point where we need to put in our gate. We have two gates, a walkthrough gate and then a drive-through gate. So if we can get our walkthrough gate out of here, it's going to be really heavy, but if we can get that put up, then we can get all the rest of the fencing built off of that. But it's really heavy, so we're trying to figure it out. So we're ready to dig a hole for the first post in our gate. This is where our fence is gonna go all the way around the aviary and we need two gates. We've got a walkthrough gate and then we've got a drive-through gate. This is our walkthrough gate that will normally come through. And so we had to cover up the, the trench. We've got a trench that's a foot down all the way around. So right here we had to bring it to ground level because our gate is the only spot that won't be uh, underground. It'll be a double airlock and so a predator would have to dig under two. Now we're probably gonna have some electric fence outside of that. But anyways, this is exciting because the first thing we need to do is dig this hole for this post over here. Hey, bud. And so roughly this is how this gate's gonna look. That's our, our lock where we're gonna unlock it. And then this post right here is the one that I need to bury. All right, so I've got the tractor here. We buried this back and there's some tough rock in here. So we've gotta dig it out. These large gate posts are so much bigger than the other posts. They've got to weigh 200, 250 pounds. Two ducks? They are not easy to get in and out of there. Two ducks. And those ducks. And our big this out. There's a huge rock there. And we can see if it's deep enough and then see if we need to bring the post hole digger back in. The regular posts take about one bag of concrete, but these large gate posts take three to four bags. Lots of water, lots of tamping. More concrete, 
More tamping. So there it is. The start of the outer fence. One down and like 48 to go. <laughs> Alright, so we're at this corner post. We need to concrete that in. And this is for our walkthrough gate. This is for the, the fencing that's going around. And we need to hang the two gates that go in here. So there's going to be a gate right here that we're going to walk through. And then a gate right here that we're going to walk through. But we can't hang that one yet. It's got, it's got the, the parts to hang it on there. The hinge. But we're missing the nuts and bolts that are actually supposed to go through these gates to hang it. They fell out during shipment. And so they're working on getting us some more for those. So we won't be able to hang those two gates yet, but we can get this post going. A few minutes ago, we tried to lift the top portion of this. Becky and I was just too heavy. Is this too heavy? So we're gonna have to get some kind of lift to, to hold that up. So the only thing we can do is concrete in this post and then keep going this way for now until we can get some kind of lift to hold that stuff up. Cause it's just, this equipment's heavy. All right, outer post is in. Now we'll keep adding this way. All right, we're up to our biggest moment in aviary history, at least for us so far, is we need to hang this big piece. It's this, this piece right here, and it is gonna sit right above this gate like that. And it's really heavy. We tried lifting it and we just couldn't do it. So we borrowed our neighbor's skid steer. We're gonna lift it up. Eli and Becky are gonna be over here and then they're gonna lock it in on that post. We've given the post a few days for the concrete to settle. We'll get that locked in up there and then we'll be able to find out where our post needs to go right here on this side. All right. Holding! Yay! Yeah! All right, so we're losing sunlight. We're losing sunlight in like 15, 20 minutes. So now we've got to dig our hole for our big side poles here so we can get this supported tonight because it's being supported by two bolts right over here that are just a little bit. So it's three, 400 pounds being held up by those two. So we've got to get this pole in and then we'll be all good for tonight. So late last night, it was about 10 p.m. when we got all finished with putting this across the top and putting in our post. And I think I put this in reverse. This is the problem with not having good instructions, just having really an overall picture and not having specific pictures. And so I think this is supposed to be flipped around, but that's not a big deal. Hopefully we can do that at some point. But the big deal is that we got this post in. So now we can start to, hi there. Hi. So the big deal is that we can now start to go that way and that way each time so hopefully we can start to do two every morning and then like two every evening and so we can get four done each day and it's something like 45 panels all the way around so maybe in a couple weeks we can be all the way around this completely it's going to take a while but that's the plan so tonight we're going to get our first panel up this way and, and then a panel down there all right we're ready for the final part of this gate except for the gates themselves, the doors, because we still need the hardware. But we're gonna hang this header up here and hopefully get our our side our side piece. And then we're gonna get our, our side fence right there. And then we can get our last post in right here. And so we've been working hard. I'll show you some of the fence goes down there. Looks like we got four that way. We've got three this way today. So we've been doing one or two a day right now. And so hopefully this will get us where we want on this. But we've got our the skid steer here. So we're gonna lift this up get it to right here and then I'll lock them in right there. Hanging that last headpiece for the gate was tough. Somehow I can't get all three holes to line up at the same time. The gate's so heavy. Oh, why won't it go? And it's a little scary being up that high. The sun goes down pretty fast when we're trying to get work done. We're putting the last gate post in and it was pretty tricky to line up. But we got it in on another late night. So we're getting late into the night. We're gonna get this done tonight. We'll show you how it turns out tomorrow. Ooh. <laughs> Is that good?
Good? He's good. Okay. Okay. What's the hard, hardest part about all this? Probably... The heat, taking, for one. Yeah, the heat is terrible. But taking care of a baby and kids while trying to get work done is kind of hard. Isabella is crying just about every 30 minutes. She's not happy unless Becky or I are holding her and we're busy. It takes three of us to hold each of these panels up and we just can't keep her happy. <laughs> just as we practiced, Isabella, perfect. On cue. And then I hold her and she's all good, but we've got to go concrete in the last post for today. So we've got the boys enlisted and helping console her, but yeah, we need a concrete bag. I think she's been eating dirt, what do you think? Looks like it. It's the last post for today and then we're, we're gonna head out on a trip. We've gotta go speak at the Ozark Homesteading Expo and we get a little two, three day vacation. Oh, it's gonna fall. If you can carry that, you can count, carry a five gallon bucket of water. Well, Becky and I have done a lot of this, but we wouldn't be able to do it without Eli because he's been our third wingman on this and we wouldn't be able to lift all these gates and hold them in place while the other two are screwing in either side of the panel because somebody's got to screw in on the front, somebody's got to hold the piece on the back and we need a third person. So Eli, I'm glad, I'm glad you're old enough and big enough to help us. Is that hard work? Yeah. yeah. So here is what it looks like. This is our walkthrough gate right here. And so we'll have these two gates hanging on either side of it. Keep birds from coming out, predators from coming in. You guys like how this looks? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. It was hard, wasn't it? Did you get in? Yeah. It's heavy. We had the bobcat to lift everything up. We still got some more work to do to be able to hang this gate. And of course, we've got to get the hardware. And we do have an update on that. We've been talking with the company we got it from, from the UK. And they couldn't find any in the US to get them to us quickly, but they did send us some from the UK. So they should be here, I'm hoping, in a week or two. And that should be time right when we're getting over to the drive through gate. We're going to have a like a vehicle gate for any equipment because we still need to get some other big equipment in here and then we've got our walk through gate and so we'll be able to hang those two gates as well and we'll have to rent some larger equipment to be able to hang that it's gonna be really heavy but check it out we've got 10 panels in here so far we've got four over here and six on that side of the gate and we've had to work with the terrain so I think it was intended to be to go in a straight line and for all the little waves in the fence to line up but the way our land is it's a big slope down so it does like a, a foot or two step down with each one and then it levels out right in the middle and then it comes back up on the other side. So we've got about 43, 44 panels in total, plus the gates. I think we're just right at about a fourth, give or take a few. The gate takes a little more effort. So anyways, I'm hoping in two, three weeks, we've got the whole outer part done and we're ready to start on the cables and the overhead netting. That'll be exciting. All right, you guys ready to take a picture? Let's take a picture. All right, aviary on three. One, two, three. Aviary! See you guys next time. <laughs>